Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on how to calculate and plot four point moving averages. So in lesson in the previous lesson we learned how to plot and calculate three point moving averages. Now we are going to look at four point moving averages. So we are given with this problem having a table of the quarterly revenue in millions of shillings of a certain company over a period of three years. So these are the years, these are the quarters, first quarter, second quarter, third, fourth for each year of 2017, 2018 and 2019. And they want us to calculate the four point moving averages for the data part B. On the same axis, plot the original data and the four point moving averages. Part C, to comment on the trend of the company's quarter revenue over the period of three years. And lastly, to use your graph in B above to estimate the expected revenue in the Roman, in the Roman one, fourth quarter of 2016 and first quarter of 2020. So the first thing to do is to let these values, so let X denote the expected revenue in the fourth quarter of 2016 and Y denote the expected court revenue of the first quarter of 2020. So we shall start our problem, our solution. One, we are given the years, so we put a column for years. Then we are given the quarters, you put a column for quarters. You are also given the points, so you put a column for points. What you are left with is how to calculate the four point moving totals and the four point moving averages. So remember the fourth quarter of 2016 is before is before the first quarter of 2017, that's why it is here. And it's X. And the last and the first quarter of 2020 is after the fourth quarter of 2019, and that is why it is there. So we shall four point moving totals we put we add four four points. So one two three four so get the total for that it will be x plus two nine five get the average it will be x plus nine five over four now where do you put it you put it at the midpoint so these are four you leave one two leave one two points this side and two points this side so it will be in between the first and the second that is why it is here and that's the reason why we are skipping spaces this space keep the space keep the space cause now for the four point unlike the three point the moving averages will be in between two values now the next moving average four point moving total will be add leave this one and add one two three four get its sum it will be three three five get its average to be eight eight point seven five leave this one and add one two three four its total will be 365 and its average will be 91.25. So you do the same for the rest and come up with those columns of moving totals and the moving averages. So that's how they can show moving totals and moving averages. So we shall go to part B of plotting a graph of the four point moving averages and the original data on the same axis. So shall do the same, leave one centimeter this side and demarcate, leaving intervals of two, two centimeters. Leave one centimeter this side and demarcate, leaving intervals of two, two centimeters. So the vertical scale, we shall still use the same formula, highest value minus lowest value over the number of spaces. So highest value is 170, lowest is 60, divided by the number of spaces, which is 11, we shall come up with 10. I think 10 is exactly there, so we shall use our, our vertical scale will be 10. For the horizontal scale, we count the total number of quarters. So when you go to our table, the total will be 1, 2, 3, 4 times 1, 2, 3, which is 12. So we have 12, and here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that means that 12 cannot fit on this horizontal axis. What do we do? We go back and now leave leave one one centimeter each. So we demark we add more demarcations in between the two so that we leave one one centimeter in one one centimeter on the horizontal 
scale. When we do that, we shall now feed in our values. Vertical scale, the interval is 10, 10 units each. Here it is 1, 1 centimeter for each unit. So put here the first, second, third, fourth. So we go year by year. 27, first deal with 2017, finish it. Go to 2018, finish it, go to 2019. Now note that the estimation, what they want us to get, we have not added it. We have not added 2016, fourth quarter, and we have not added 2020, first quarter. So you don't add them there, even though they are asked. We shall see why. Next step is to plot, which has begin with the original data. Original data we have. This one we can't plot it, so we shall start with this. 70 corresponds to first. So go on your first of 2017, look for 70 and plot that value. Next is 85, go on your second for, eight, for 2017, look for 85 and plot it. So you do the same for all the values and you'll come up with points in this way. Remember, point, these points are joined using a ruler. Using a ruler. So when you join using a ruler, you'll come up with a graph in this shape. Then because you are drawing more than one graph, you have to put the key. So this denotes original data. Now we are going to moving averages. Moving averages, this point cannot be plotted, so you leave it. We shall start from this. We shall plot 88.75 in between the second and third for 2017. So go to 2017, between second and third, take it up and look for 88.75, plot that point. The next point is 91.25. It is in between third and fourth. So go between third and fourth of 2017. Look for 91 and plot it. And the next will be 96.25 between fourth and first, fourth of 2017 and first of 2018. So go to fourth of 2017 and first of 2018. You take it up and look for that value, then you plot it. So you do the same for all these points up to here and those will be the points for moving averages when you're done with that you join using a ruler now remember they told us to estimate 4th of 2016 so you elongate extrapolate these last two points extrapolate with a straight line also the last the also these two points at the end you also extrapolate we shall see how it is used now the said Pasi was comment on the trend of the company's quarter revenue over the period of three years. So we use the trend, this is the trend line. The line for moving averages is the trend line. So it is increasing, you can see it has a positive gradient. So we shall see that there is an increasing trend in the company's quarter revenue over the period of three years. Now they want us to use the graph to estimate the fourth quarter of 2016 and the first quarter of 2020. For the fourth quarter of 2016, this moving average is between first and second of 2017. So that is why we are going to draw our line. It should be between first and second. So when we come here for 2017, first and second, we shall draw a line in between the two to meet the trend line, the line for moving averages, where it means take it this side and read off that value. That value will be equated to our value in the table, which is x plus 295 over 4. When you equate the two, you'll make x the subject you come up with 49. So our values were in millions of shillings. So the x value revenue in the fourth quarter of 2016 is 49 million shillings. We shall do the same for the for first quarter of 2020, it will be between three, third, and fourth. So take your value, take your vertical line upwards to meet the trend line. Take this side to meet the vertical axis. Read off that value. That value will be equated to the one in the table, which is 380 plus y over 4. 
then we make y the subject which is 144 remember it is in millions of shillings so we shall get that value expected revenue for the first quarter of 2020 as 144 million shillings so that comes to the end of our lesson today thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel roa e-learning platform i remain wagada ronald thank you